What's going on everybody? Welcome to yet another episode of Anybody Can Cook, the show where we prove to you guys that just because you're not a premier chef does not mean you can't make some bomb food. My name is Evan. My name is Joe. And today we made shrimp scampi spaghetti squash. All right, we got the idea from Midget Mama. Mm -hmm. Super cool idea. Um, so guys, we're gonna be doing this every Friday. Please uh, keep up with the channel and feel free to subscribe here, like here, and we'll be coming out with videos every Friday. Every single Friday, guys, so please. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it. All right, so we just finished this amazing meal. Evan, what went into this? So, we made spaghetti squash, so we are not very familiar with spaghetti at all. What we did, I mean spaghetti squash. <laughs> what we did is we cut the spaghetti, the squash in half. That left us with two halves that had to be scooped out the little middle with all the seeds and stuff inside. Then once that was all scooped out, what we did is we ran some olive oil over it with some salt and pepper. We preheated the oven to 400 degrees, turned them over onto their, onto their soft ends and put it into the oven for 30 minutes. Now while that was in the oven, comes the next part, making the shrimp and such like that. So we got a, we got a pot, threw some olive oil in there, threw some butter in there, then you throw the chopped up garlic. By the way, prep work is needed for this as well. Chop up all that stuff beforehand. Uh, while the garlic is, is in there, you leave it for about two minutes just to, let it, just to let it cook a little bit inside the butter and oil. Then you take the delicious shrimp, which we detailed as well, put the shrimp in there, um, stir that around. Since our shrimp are already cooked, we'll need to do that for about two minutes. Typically, you want to cook it for about five to six minutes when you have raw shrimp. We were lucky with that as well. Um, after which, we added some more ingredients to the top. We added um, some white wine. We added lemon, lemon zest, and salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, and finally, the parsley on top. Now, Jill, if you want to go into what happens after the 30 minutes are up and we have the spaghetti squash ready. Okay, so once your squash is ready, about 30 minutes in, it's going to be a little tender, so you can you can press on it. It'll be a little softer than normal. And very hot. <laughs> Extremely hot. So be careful there. Um, get it out of your oven. And then you're going to want to take something. Uh, to start out, what I did is I used two forks so I can get a grasp of the, the bowl. And... Take, take one of those forks and you can just literally spread it right through. Mm -hmm. And it blew my mind. This stuff comes out looking exactly like spaghetti. Yep, yep, yep. Just like spaghetti noodles. So uh, really hollow that thing out as much as you can. You're gonna make a ton of spaghetti out yes, of it. Yes. It's gonna look crazy, but crazy awesome. <laughs> and um, let's see, once you have both bowls scooped out, you wanna take the spaghetti you made and go ahead and put that in with the rest of the ingredients. That's right. Stir that together, make sure it's all nice and mixed. And uh, the last step is putting that back in your bowl. Yep. Putting that back in your squash bowl and ready, it's ready to go. All right, now is the time. The three questions we always ask ourselves. All right, so how did it taste? How easy was it to make? And last but not least, how expensive was this to make? Mm -hmm. Evan, what did you think about the taste? Was this disgusting, like a rotten egg, or was this amazing? Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, so on a scale of zero to 10, um, I'm honestly gonna have to go with easily a seven, possibly an eight. If I had to pick one, I'm picking a seven. Um, there's several reasons behind this. I thought this was an amazing meal. Like, I'm not one, I literally can't count the last, I can't remember the last time I ate squash, right? Yeah. Squash is not something I partake in frequently, but by any means, uh, it was definitely like uh, a leap of faith and an adventure for both of us, having no squash uh, previous history. <laughs> so when we made this, we kind of went into it just thinking, you know, this may taste a little weird, this may taste a little funky. It tasted amazing. Um, the squash itself, it's a little crunchy, actually, the, the, the spaghetti, the spaghetti noodles, quote unquote. Um, with the shrimp in there, you get a lot of. You get a, first, you get a taste of lemon in there. Then it kind of sifts over towards the more spicy taste. You get the red pepper flakes coming out of there as well. Yeah. It was awesome to eat. I devoured it in like 30 seconds. It was gone. Um, very, very pleasing to me. Um, so I'm gonna stick with solid seven for taste. But I felt something special while eating it. I just felt. Healthy. I felt healthy, <laughs> I felt good, and just something about new experiences is always a good time. Yes, yes, so, yes. Part two. Very important, how easy was this to make? You know, I'm very good at making cereal. Me too. Cereal is not bad, I, that's a one. Yes. 
a 10, we're talking some chef material that would be very tough for any beginner chef to, to go with. Absolutely. Evan, what would you give it from a scale of one to 10 on how easy it was to make? How easy it was to make, I would give it a solid three out of 10. Like a lot of our stuff we've made before, all it takes is the prep work ahead of time. Um, like Joe mentioned before, like all you have to do is just chop everything up. So we chop up the garlic, chop up the parsley, uh, we obviously prepared the squash, cutting it in half and scooping out the stuff. That was it. Once all that is done, all you have to do is just easily just put the you put the squash into the oven, and while it's there, you just dump it like literally one after the other into the into the pot and stir it up, and it's ready to go. So last but not least, we always go over the cost. All right, so zero being super cheap, ten being something super expensive that you're gonna have to take out a small private loan to pay for your dinner. <laughs> That's right. So what side are we on here, Evan? What would you give it zero to 10 on cost? Um, I'd probably stick with, uh, sorry, stick with a five again, um, as, far, as far as cost. So it, it cost us $28-ish. The one problem we did run into is we couldn't find one pound of shrimp. We had to buy two pounds. So we do have an extra pound of shrimp lying around. But uh, if you divide that in half, it's right around $15 per person. Again, uh, and this, this, the, the, one, the one reason why I probably put it like a five or a six is just because they only gave us one meal each, right? We, we, didn't, we didn't get to have you know, leftovers for, for other times. Yep. Um, the ingredients list wasn't terrible. We actually had a bunch of the ingredients already. Um, we just went to the store and bought four items because we had a bunch of stuff from leftover times, so just actually you know, getting more beneficial the further and further we go on to this show. Okay, seafood is never gonna be cheap in Arizona. <laughs> in Arizona, at least, we're not really too close to any oceans. No. So you're paying there, um, but you really can't complain for a nice hearty meal. All right, well that is our show. We are Anybody Can Cook. We prove to you guys that just because you're not an extraordinary chef doesn't mean you can't make some awesome food. My name is Evan. My name is Joe. And that is our show. We will be showing every single Friday. Please like and subscribe to follow along with us and in our expert journey. And actually, next time, this is episode seven, so next time is an exotic week. Exotic. And we'll be making something even stranger than this. So stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Peace.